let's get routing. In general, we are building a PCB that needs to fit in a certain space. So I'm going to make this PCB to be a certain dimension uh, with mounting holes. So there'll, there'll be a certain dimension across the mounting holes. So we go to add footprint. And this is just like placing a component, except here I'm going to search for mounting hole and we'll make it a M3. So there's our physical hole. If I place that and go back to the 3D view, boom, we've got a hole in the board somewhere. That's pretty neat. What I'll do is set my grid to something big and chunky. Let's just place it here. Let's just copy this and paste it. I've pasted it right on top and I'll move it, uh, let's say 30 millimeters. So if I press control M, I'll move it 30 millimeters to the right. Cool. And now if I select both those parts, control C to copy, control V to paste, and I'll paste them right on top and then move them, let's say 30 millimeter, 25 millimeters down. Maybe that, yeah, that looks about right. And let's just get these parts out of the way for the time being. We're going to route a board around these holes. So I'll select the uh, edge cuts layer. We need to put our board outline on the edge cuts and click in the center with the arc tool, come out a bit, sweep it around and that's our arc. I'll do the same over here. Uh, now our, our grid doesn't go through this part. So we're going to have to place the grid origin at the center. You'll see that crosshair appear. And now we can wrap the outline around that. Quite a lot of space here. I could set the grid size smaller, but we'll just press on with this. Place the grid origin. With this arc tool, you always select the middle, a point, and then you have to rotate to the left. If you rotate to the right, you'll get a more of a circular shape coming out of that arc. So you always, the angle always extends to the anti-clockwise direction. We've got our board edges, so I'll just fill those in with straight lines. Beautiful. We've got a board. Really importantly, we have to select all our mounting holes and lock them in place. So I'm, you can right click and go to lock. This is important because if you update your PCB from the schematic, these don't exist in the schematic and so they'll just disappear. You could place them in the schematic, but it doesn't really look that good. If we go back to our 3D view, there's our PCB with a bunch of parts ready to be placed. So I'll just quickly place those now. I'll select one with the mouse, press M to move. And I guess we'll just, we'll start by just arranging them. So there we have our placed components. You can see those placed on the board. Let's do some routing. I'll just manually route this. There are ways to auto route, but I won't cover this here. It involves using external tools with KiCad. Uh, select the routing tool. A really nice quality of life improvement is to use the slash key and it changes the direction of that tail. That can really, that can really help out, make things a little bit more bearable if you're manually routing. But I'll very quickly just snap these together. Nothing too special. There you have a routed board. Not my finest work. If you want to add copper fills, you can use this tool here. And being more careful than I'm going to be, but you can select the layer, what net you want it to connect to, and then add your copper fill. I'll just make some, some random shape. And if we go back to our 3D view, you can see that copper fill has been drawn in. Because we're, of course we can work with double layered boards here. I'm gonna delete these, these traces real quick because I'll show you how to quickly move between layers. So if I were routing, instead of routing around this pin, I could just press a V 
to insert a via and skip to the other side of the board, then I can just follow that over. And really, because this is a plated through hole, it connects all the way through to the other side. And you don't have to use vias at all. You could just make sure that you're routing on the far side of the board and route this on the other side of the board without even having to use vias because you're essentially just connecting through these uh, through hole plated connectors. So that's a neat trick to keep up your sleeve. And you'll see the front layer routing is red and the rear layer routing is in green. Real quick, if you want to use different track sizes, you can edit the predefined track sizes and draw one in for, your, for yourself. So if you want thicker traces for say a power bus, then you can just use this tool here for that. But that is more or less a completed board, not my finest work, but this will do for demonstration purposes. Next up, we're going to import some CAD files to make these components look a bit nicer if we're going to you know, share our project with other people, give them a bit, bit of context as to what it looks like.